all right guys so now we're going to be making this render right here uh so basically there are a few variations of this the first one is um just a second yeah the first one is this one which you are seeing right now here and the second variation is basically a darker lighting version of this so basically in this what we did was that we basically um pointed the light towards the front and we also um uh, basically sort of we did an overcast lighting on this and then we used an area light to sort of um, add some highlights uh, so yeah that's a different lighting setup which we're also going to be covering and you can obviously use another car model as well so i just used this one as well uh, so i'm going to be showing you how to download the model how to texture it and the textures are going to come with the model however you're going to have to apply them manually uh, because usually sketchfab models uh, we're going to be down downloading this from sketchfab right so usually sketchfab models are um uh, basically you need to texture them manually anyways so yeah let's begin with that but before that uh, before um adding the assets and everything let me just first create a basic outline of the scene so i'm just going to go inside unreal engine and so here you can just simply create a brand new um project which which is going to be just go to games and uh, just create a blank project and so what i'm going to do i'm going to be using this exact project but i'm going to be creating a new level in this so just assume that you have opened a brand new project just go to file and you can just create new level and empty level so I'm just gonna create that. And the reason why I'm using this project is because we, I already do have all the assets that, I'm, that I need to use already imported uh, so that I don't waste you guys' time into uh, by importing the assets again and again and again. So yeah, and just press Control S to save your project. And I'm just gonna name it um, old underscore car SS. I think that should be fine. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of my path tracing mode. Now that render was made using path tracing. However, you can achieve a pretty similar result using uh, the lit mode as well, uh, basically the lumen lighting setup. And yeah, so I'm gonna be showing you both of those. All right, so let's begin with a basic layout. But before that, let me just get a basic lighting setup in. So I'm just gonna go to window, environment light mixer, and I can just go ahead and create skylight, atmospheric light, uh, sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud, and finally height fog. So our lighting is mostly done. We are gonna be tweaking it later on, obviously, but for now it's perfect. Right, so first let's create a landscape. So I'm just gonna to go to my selection mode and I'm gonna click landscape mode and just wait for it to open and just press create. We won't need to do anything here. I'm just gonna simply get out of this. And so basically what I'm gonna do is that firstly, I'm gonna create a basic outline of our scene. And so for that, I'm simply gonna be importing a cube. Just go to add shape and cube bring it up and let me just place it somewhere there and so right now one thing which you are going to be noticing is that the shadows are way too dark and that's not something which you want and so what i'm going to do for that is that i'm simply going to go to my skylight and if i just go down i'll go up to a uh, real-time capture i'm going to turn this on and now you're going to see that the shadows are become going to become a lot more realistic so that's something which we want and so let me just go ahead and position this cube such that um it looks good and it basically matches the basic outline of our scene so for the outline of the scene is that we have sort of a wall back there uh, which is obviously filled with rocks it's basically sort of like a mountain a hill sort of thing and ahead of that hill we have some trees and we have a lot of grass and stuff like that so it's a forest scene and we are going to be replicating that inside of unreal engine so i think something like that should be a good back wall obviously we are going to be adding assets to this later on uh, and maybe what I'm going to do is that I'm simply going to be copying this. So I'm just pressing all, I'm just holding alt on my keyboard and I'm dragging and I'm just going to be rotating it slightly. And so just place it right there. Something like that. And so that maybe rotate it even more. Now, obviously your, your scene, your whole um, layout, the whole layout of your scene is going to be based on your own creativity, hopefully. And I would not recommend you to just copy this exact same scene. Unless you're a beginner, then I would recommend you to do that. That's going to help you build your own creativity. And But if you are an intermediate user, then I would recommend you to actually use this. Use the tools taught in this um, course to actually um, come up with your own um, creativity and come up with your own ideas. You can use Pinterest to come up with ideas, to find inspiration, basically. And then you can use them uh, in, Unreal, in Unreal Engine. So what I'm going to do, firstly, is that I'm just going to be adding the assets first. So for the assets, I'm going to be using mega scans. So I'm just going to go to add and add Quixel content. And now it's going to open the mega scans bridge um, and just wait for that to open. Right, so the bridge has been opened and I'm just going to go to this environment uh, tab and I can just go to environment. And here I'm just going to search for, I'm just going to go inside the natural option. And here we have a lot of these um, 
environments which we can choose from and basically what what this means is that basically you're going to get assets which are similar to these um these pictures so i'm just going to use one which is going to be maybe this tundra or maybe we can use this rocky grassland as well right so you have a lot of these assets which you can use however i'm not going to be using them let me just go back let's just use that um this one tundra right here so I think this looks really nice, um, especially some of the rocks. This one right here, uh, this rock looks really good. And it, it's sort of like a wall, which uh, and so we're going to be using it as a wall as well. So it just matches our purpose. And quality, I'm just going to set it to medium quality because it's not going to be that visible. So even if in the even in this scene, you're going to see that some of the rock is visible in the background, but not too much. So yeah, the quality, I wouldn't, want, I wouldn't um, recommend you guys to waste resources on this because obviously high quality is going to cost performance as well. Anyway, so once you download this, you can just simply drag it in, in your scene. And you could import multiple assets, and then you can use all of those um, to create, to sort of basically remove that repetitiveness. However, I'm not going to do that because honestly, this is not going to be that visible. And I think um, just using one asset is going to be super efficient for us because it's, it's going to be covered by a lot of trees, right? So I don't think it's necessary to um, sort of add a lot of assets to hide the monotony i think something like that should be good maybe even a little, little larger something like that and right so let me just duplicate this and i'm just going to be bringing this up and let me take it back something like that should be good and yeah so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be duplicating both of these and let me rotate them And so I'm just going to be placing them something like that. And do I need to duplicate them again? Um, I think I should. I think I should. Yeah, just one more time. And just something like that. Now, obviously, they do, they do look um, pretty repeated. So you can obviously just rotate them slightly uh, to sort of hide that. However, it's not. It's really not going to be that important because um, obviously we, we are going to be adding some, uh, what do you call it? A lot of trees and stuff like that later on so they're barely they're barely going to be visible so it doesn't really matter that much anyways so um next up we are going to be actually you know what let me just create the floor first the forest floor and so for that i'm just going to be adding another asset pixel content and this time i'm going to go back to uh, environment and natural let's go down to maybe broadly forest how about this one this has a lot of these um, trees which you can use, uh, these broken trees, maybe something like this, mossy forest ground, that should be a nice um, forest floor. Let me just add that. You obviously are going to have to download all of these, uh, but I've just download, downloaded them before so that we don't have to wait every time. And I think something like that should be a good floor. How about we like make it flatter a little bit and how about we scale it up in that axis? The good thing about these assets is that you can really scale them in any direction um, while not maintaining the aspect ratio because in any other asset, it's going to look weird. But the good thing about these is that they they really look fine, to be honest. And so this is not really um, going in with the background. It's not really matching with the background, but that does not matter at all uh, because all of this is going to be covered with assets. So just don't worry about that. We just need a basic um, sort of like a blueprint uh, for our assets to be um, placed upon and something like that. I think that should be fine. Maybe just move it down a little bit or not move it down. Maybe um, we can just scale it down in the Z axis to make it a little flatter, you know, just to add some of that um, variation. And lastly, I think I should just do that. That should be my last and i think it's pretty good um just move it down slightly i think that should be perfect perfect so now we can move on to the next step which is going to be adding uh the foliage or actually you know what let me just add the car first yeah let me just add the car first um oops why did i close that <laughs> anyways also be sure to save all if you have downloaded downloaded any new assets uh just be, be sure to save all of that let's add our car from sketchfab so i'm just going to go to the internet and i'm just going to search for um old rusty car 3d model you can just search for that 
you can obviously use blender kit for this as well if you have blender um but i think sketchfab models are really nice for this and so this model is the one which i used um first this is a really good model um and it looks pretty realistic however the problem with this is that this is a low poly model and so to get something high poly you can just simply go to this link um in sketchfab which is gonna open all of the models which are available so i think the one which i used was this one uh the one the, the red one in this you can obviously change the color and everything but yeah you have a lot of um freedom here you have a lot of variety and obviously all the credits for the model goes to uh, go to the actual person who created these but they are free to download most of them so that's really nice um and so right now you have a few options either you can just keep it an, in this aspect ratio or you can make this um, the sensor width and the sensor height the same value it doesn't really matter which value you set them to but if you set them to the same value you're going to see that it's going to become a square frame uh so I'm, but i'm not going to do that i'm simply going to go with a 16 by 9 film aspect ratio for this one because i might use this render as the thumbnail of this course so i'm going to do that and again right now uh, everything is basically blurred and the reason for that is because we have depth of field turned on so i'm just going to go ahead and into the focus me focus method and i'm just going to be disabling this for now we can obviously set it later on but right now i'm just going to be disabling it let's position our our car properly now let me just open that image uh which we created earlier for for a reference i think let's take this for a reference and i'm just going to be closing this oops let me just close that and yeah right so i think something like that should be a good position for our car maybe rotate it slightly i think that should be a pretty good position for our car and for our camera as well i think something like that should be good let me just cover up this space by moving this texture a little bit actually instead of that let me just go ahead and move this one that i think should be better and perfect right so i think it looks pretty good obviously it doesn't look realistic at all and that's because we obviously haven't started working on it so let's start with adding the foliage uh but you know what before that let me just go ahead and add a post process volume so i'm just going to go to add cinematic or not cinematic visual effects and post process volume and so i'm just going to be moving this away from the camera I'm going to be using my second viewport for this if you don't uh, if by the way you don't have the second viewport you can simply go to window and go down to viewports and just turn the second viewport on and it's going to appear and you can use this and also in this viewport i'm in my unlit mode so you can just go to this thing right here and just unlit and this is going to save you some performance because obviously if you have two lit viewports in your scene then it's going to effectively half your performance it's going to cut your performance in half anyways so with this post process volume in our inside our scene let me just go ahead and search for infinite extent and i'm just going to turn this on because now it's going to be affecting our whole scene uh no matter what the position of this uh, post process volume is let me just go down to exposure metering mode and exposure compensation i'm going to turn these two on i'm just going to set this to manual and this exposure compensation to something like 10 10 is a little too low how about 11 I think 11 should be fine for now we can obviously make tweaks later on so let's finally go ahead and start with adding the foliage just be sure to save everything 